Hello, welcome to my channel subscribe or like if you like it. Today we are going to talk about itraconazole medicine, we will explain its mechanism of action, side effects, dosage, uses, contraindications, warnings, pregnancy and indications. The trade names of itraconazole are, Sporinox, Dulcera, Amel, Canadial, Hongiserol. Itraconazole Mechanism of Action Antifungal It interferes with protein synthesis of ergosterol in fungal cells. What is itraconazole used for? Therapeutic Indications and Pathology of Itraconazole Intravenous Infusion, 1 hour In Adults Histoplasmosis, Systemic Fungal Infection Resistant to First Choice Antifungal, Aspergillosis, Candidiasis, Cryptococcosis including cryptococcal meningitis, in immunosuppressed with cryptococcosis and in patients with CNS cryptococcosis, 200 mg every 12 hours, 2 days, followed by 200 mg every 24 hours, maximum 14 days. Oral Route Adults Itraconazole 100 mg, conventional. Oral or esophageal candidiasis in HIV or other immunodeficiencies. 200 mg every 24 hours in 1 or 2 doses, 1 to 2 weeks, fluconazole resistant, 100 to 200 mg every 12 hours, for 2 to 4 weeks, maximum 400 mg every 24 hours, 14 days. Prophylaxis of systemic fungal infection, if standard treatment is not adequate, with hematological malignancy or bone marrow transplant recipients, in whom neutropenia is expected. 5 mg slash kg per day in 2 doses, immediately before treatment with cytostatics and 1 week before transplantation. Vulvovaginal candidiasis, 200 mg every 12 hours, 1 day or 200 mg every 24 hours, 3 days. Pityriasis versicolor, 200 mg every 24 hours, 7 days. Dermatophytosis, 200 mg every 24 hours. 7 days or 100 mg every 24 hours, 15 days. In highly keratinized areas, tinea pedis, tinea manis, 200 mg every 12 hours, 7 days or 100 mg every 24 hours, 30 days. Fungal keratitis, 200 mg every 24 hours, 21 days. Oral candidiasis, 100 mg every 24 hours, 15 days. Onychomycosis due to dermatophytes and congida, pulse treatment or continuous treatment. Pulsital, one course equals 200 mg every 12 hours, one week plus three weeks without treatment. Feet or feet plus hands, three cycles. Hands, two cycles. Continuous, 200 mg every 24 hours, three months. Systemic aspergillosis. 200 mg every 24 hours, 2 to 5 months. Systemic candidiasis, 100 to 200 mg every 24 hours, 3 weeks to 7 months. Invasive or disseminated, 200 mg every 12 hours. Non meningeal cryptococcosis, 200 mg every 24 hours, from 2 to 12 months. Cryptococcal meningitis, 200 mg every 12 hours, from 2 to 12 months. Histoplasmosis, 200 mg every 12 or 24 hours, 8 months. Spirotrichosis, 100 mg every 24 hours, 3 months. Paracoxidioidomycosis, 100 mg every 24 hours, 6 months. Chromomycosis, 100 to 200 mg every 24 hours, 6 months. Blastomycosis, 100 mg every 24 hours or 200 mg every 12 hours, 6 months. Itraconazole 50 mg, pityriasis versicolor, 100 mg every 24 hours, 7 days. Dermatomycosis, tinea cruporis, tinea cruris, 50 mg every 24 hours, 2 weeks, ringworm of the hand, ringworm of the foot, 50 mg every 24 hours, 4 weeks. Nail ring worm, 100 mg every 24 hours, 12 weeks. Systemic aspergillosis, 100 mg every 24 hours, 2 to 5 months. Systemic candidiasis, 50 to 100 mg every 24 hours, 
3 weeks to 7 months. Invasive or disseminated, 100 mg every 12 hours. Histoplasmosis, 100 mg every 12 or 24 hours, 8 months. Mode of administration of itraconazole. Capsules, swallow whole and administer immediately after eating. Oral solution, take without food and do not eat for at least one hour after administration. In oral or esophageal candidiasis, swish the solution for 20 seconds and then swallow, do not rinse the mouth. Contraindications of itraconazole. Hypersensitivity. Concomitants with, terfenidine, astemazole, bepridil, misolastine, cisapride, triazolam and oromidazolam, dofetilide, lovacetomethadil, certindol, quinidine, pimazide, simvastatin, lovastatin, atorvastatin, dronedarone, dabigatran, ergotalkaloids, dihydroergotamine, ergomadrin, ergotamine and methylergomadrin, elatriptan, nisoldipine, disopyramide or halophantrine, except in life-threatening indications. Pregnancy, lactation or patients with evidence of ventricular dysfunction such as CHF or history of CHF, except in treatment of life-threatening or other serious infections. Warnings and precautions of itraconazole. Hypersensitivity to azoles, elderly, children. Renal insufficiency. Hepatic insufficiency, monitor. Assess risk-benefit in CHF or history of CHF. Monitor and discontinue treatment if signs or symptoms of CHF appear. Risk of hepatotoxicity. Monitor, discontinue treatment and perform HFP if hepatitis appears. Instruct the patient of the signs. Discontinue treatment if neuropathy develops. Transient or permanent hearing loss reported. Transient asymptomatic decrease in left ventricular ejection fraction observed. Concomitants with. CA channel blockers due to increased risk of CHF, CYP3A4 inducers, rifampicin, rifibutin, phenobarbital, phenidoin, carbamazepine, hypericum, isoniazid, due to risk of reducing bioavailability, do not use until two weeks after discontinuation of treatment with inducer. It is recommended to take conventional or litriconazole with cola in case of achlorhydria or gastric secretion suppressor treatment, H2 antagonists or proton pump inhibitors for example. Before initiating treatment of systemic candidiasis, check sensitivity to itraconazole in case of suspicion of congida strains resistant to fluconazole. Not recommended orally as initial treatment of life-threatening systemic mycosis. Caution in immunosuppressed or AIDS patients. Hepatic insufficiency in itraconazole. Caution, limited data. Risk of hepatotoxicity, monitor and discontinue treatment and perform HFP if hepatitis occurs, instruct patient of signs. Renal insufficiency in itraconazole. Caution, limited data. Evaluate for risk of heart failure. Itraconazole interactions. Bioavailability increased by, ritonavir. Indinavir, chlorithromycin, erythromycin. Monitor plasma concentration, action and effect to RAO in reduced doses, if necessary, of oral anticoagulants, pi, vinca alkaloids, busulfan, docetaxel, trimetrexate, dihydropyridines, verapamil, cerevastatin, cyclosporin, dacrolimus, rapamycin, digoxin, carbamazepine, buspirone, fentanyl. Alfentanil, alprazolam, brodizolam, midazolam 4, rifibutin, dexamethasone, budesonide, methylprednisolone, fluticasone, abostine, reboxetine, loperamide, disopyramide, salostazole, halofantrine, repaglinide. Decreased absorption by drugs that reduce acidity, spacing 2 hours of conventional itraconazole. Pregnancy and itraconazole. Itraconazole should not be used during pregnancy except in life-threatening cases where the potential benefit to the mother outweighs the potential risk to the fetus. Due to the metabolism of the drug, pregnancy should be avoided until the next menstrual period after completion of treatment. In animal studies, itraconazole has demonstrated toxicity affecting reproduction. Itraconazole has been observed to cause a dose-dependent increase in maternal toxicity, 
embryotoxicity and teratogenicity in rats and mice at high doses. Teratogenicity in rats consisted mainly of skeletal defects. In mice, it consisted of encephalocele and macroglossia. There is limited information on the use of itraconazole during pregnancy. During post-marketing experience, cases of congenital anomalies have been reported. These cases included skeletal, urinary tract, cardiovascular and ophthalmologic malformations, as well as chromosomal and multiple malformations. A causal relationship with itraconazole has not been established. Epidemiological data on itraconazole exposure during the first trimester of pregnancy, primarily in patients receiving short-term treatment for vulvovaginal candidiasis, did not show an increased risk of malformations compared to control subjects not exposed to any known teratogen. Women of childbearing age using itraconazole should use effective contraception. Effective contraception should be continued until the menstrual period after the end of itraconazole treatment. Lactation and itraconazole A small amount of itraconazole is excreted in breast milk. Before using itraconazole the potential benefits of itraconazole treatment should be weighed against the potential risks, if breastfeeding. In case of doubt, the patient should not breastfeed. Effects on driving ability of itraconazole no studies have been performed on the effects of itraconazole on the ability to drive and operate machinery. The possibility of adverse reactions such as dizziness, visual disturbances and hearing loss should be considered. Side effects and adverse reactions of itraconazole. Abdominal pain, nausea, rash. Also intravenous, hypokalemia, headache, dizziness, dyspnea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, hepatitis jaundice, hyperbilirubinemia, increased liver enzymes, pruritus, edema, pyrexia, 